And some new data out of Israel showing that uh, while Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine still appears to be largely uh, preventing hospitalizations and serious cases, it's significantly less effective against the Delta variant. The variant, which is believed to be more contagious, now responsible for 90% of new cases in Israel over the last two weeks. Alexander Leslie joins us now. Alex, what does this new data mean as we uh, move forward here with this? Well, even though Pfizer or any vaccine maker has not authorized a booster shot yet, Israel's health ministry said Sunday it would recommend immunocompromised people get a third dose due to data that showed those individuals developed an insufficient insuff antibody response from two doses. However, the health ministry later clarified there was no recommendation or decision at this stage to vaccinate the general public in Israel with a third dose. According to the ministry, with the spread of that Delta variant, Pfizer's effectiveness in preventing symptomatic COVID dropped by about 30% down to 64%. The data shows just two months ago when the strain was less prevalent, the vaccine was roughly 94% effective. While the Rhode Island Department of Health only reports nine cases of the Delta variant in the state, the CDC says an estimated quarter of all U.S. cases involve that variant. The CDC also says about a thousand counties have vaccination coverage of less than 30%, primarily in the southeast and midwest. Some of these areas, we are already seeing increasing rates of disease. As the Delta variant continues to spread across the country, we expect to see increased transmissions in these communities unless we can vaccinate more people now. Israel now working on promoting two studies related to Pfizer's vaccine. One will examine the effectiveness of the vaccine over time in various age groups and in various states of health. The other will examine cellular immunity over time. In studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.